For more than a decade, five lads from Southend-on-Sea have been gunning for the top spot of British rock music. With millions of monthly streams across three albums, it's safe to say they're one of the UK's biggest bands. Their records tackle themes of personal growth, mental health and dystopian living, captivating a loyal fan base the world over. On the eve of their fourth album, Dead Club City, there's no time to catch up on how far they've come and answer the question, who the f*** nothing but thieves? Connor Mason, Joe Langridge Brown, Dominic Craig, Philip Blake, and James Price are the five members who make up Nothing But Thieves. They hail from South End on Sea, Essex, and since 2012 have been redefining epic rock. Connor, a former caretaker, and Joe, a professor, met at a school where they bonded over solving equations and discussing emotional problems with Dom, a psychiatrist. Which, in my opinion, resembles the 1997 Oscar nominated film Good Will Hunting, so I'm not really sure how real that is. So they draw influences from acts like Jeff Buckley and Radiohead and are often compared to the massive rock band Muse. Their musical journey began in 2013 with the track To Fly You've Got To Fall. But it wasn't until the release of their single Itch in 2015 that they really started to gain traction. The record initially gives off this strong Distillers vibes, but when that chorus breaks in, it becomes obvious that this song is in a league of its own, especially when compared to what was around at the time. Acts like Mumford & Sons, Florence and the Machine, Imagine Dragons were all dominating the UK charts from an alternative perspective, but the UK had started to see a rise in a much harder sound. Bands like Foles went from being an indie band to rock band, and they were joined by newcomers like Wolf Alice and Royal Blood. Prior to the release of their debut album, they continued to put out a slew of singles, including the brilliant Trip Switch, a song that remains a staple in their live set. What we do in the power's They released their eponymously titled debut album in October 2014 to relative critical success. The Guardian gave the record 4 out of 5 saying, There is a distinct sense of a band turning vulnerability into strength. The record has gone on sale over 250,000 copies worldwide, as well as gained 174 million streams, earning them BPI gold status. They subsequently took the album on tour, playing shows across the UK, including dates in Aberdeen, Newcastle, Exeter, and way more. Following this, they returned to the studio to work on their follow-up album, releasing the first single, Amsterdam, in May 2017. So I hail, I hail For me, it's a song that really builds on their kind of debut sound, but it's a record that talks about figuring out who you are and wanting something deeper in life. It's also a great sign to lead with a song that is as up-tempo as it is. It sets this precedent that they're back and bigger than ever. In an interview, Connor talks about mental health challenges he's faced during their long tours. The tour we did for it was like three or four months. My sleep had got really bad. It was like a year along when I just started crumbling and came to a point where I said to the guys, like, if, if I don't do something about this, I'm out. Luckily, my label, which I will, I will never forget, they really helped me out and they sent me to these really good sleep doctors and, and I got through it. In a way, it shaped a lot of our second album because it was that big chunk of touring. We were also writing on the road because we had no time and it did shape some of the songs and the mood of the album and um, I guess the mood of myself. They released their sophomore album Broken Machine in September 2017 to relative critical success. Dog Magazine gave the album four stars out of five, saying, Broken Machine is a tenacious record that distills to the core what nothing but thieves are all about, capturing who they are as a band right now, whilst also gazing into the unfiltered future ahead of them. In September 2018, they put out their fifth EP, What Did You Think When You Made Me This Way? It was led by the single Forever and Evermore. What did you think when you made me this way? The song was debuted at Reading and Leeds Festival in 2018. Well, Reading, because it's better. And the music video stars Radio 1 DJ Kel Spellman as a guy staying in a hotel dealing with a range of themes with a twist at the ending where he's revealed to be a vampire. In March 2020, they dropped the first single from the third album, Is Everyone Going Crazy? That was then followed up with the almost ballad-esque real love song in June 2020. It 
It's a record that really shows off Connor's vocal range. It got heavy rotation at MCHQ in 2020, and I can absolutely see it being that kind of mid-show reset, making even the biggest man cry. They then followed this up in August with the brilliant Unperson. I wouldn't draw comparisons between Nothing But Thieves and Talking Heads usually, but if you're gonna force them together like an AI model blending different art styles, I think you get something like this. I'm a They released their first studio album, Moral Panic, in October 2020 to mixed reviews. Kerrang! gave the record 2 out of 5, saying that it had some cool production and that Connor's voice is amazing, but it wasn't a huge enough step forward for the band. Whereas the line of Best Fit really liked Moral Panic, because it talks about the problems we're facing in the world today. They appreciate how the band mixes political messages with their old rock sound, and feels that the album is a great new direction for the band. It didn't stop the record reaching number 3 in the UK albums chart, and currently has a user score of 8.9 on Metacritic. It shows that that fans loved it and that their cult following is super duper strong. In October 2021, the complete edition of the record was released featuring five new tracks, which was just a smash of Moral Panic 2, the EP, and included the standout live staple, Future Proof. <laughs> I think it's a really unsung record by them. It definitely fits into that kind of bonus track territory. It's got this kind of confidence and a swagger that I'm not sure fits into an album routine but I think the record is all the better for it. In 2022, they concluded their Moral Panic tour, releasing a documentary about the journey as a band. A new song was eventually performed in Helsinki, Finland in October, and in March 2023, a mysterious email and website led fans to the announcement of their album, Dead Club City. They also released their first single, Welcome to the DCC, which delves into the concept of a utopian city where all dreams come true, but also questions the ethics of escaping reality. Welcome to the DCC. The record seems to have been inspired by the works of Justice and The Weeknd. It possesses the glitz and glamour of an 80s synth pop record and a 70s disco anthem, but delivered in a real kind of retro futuristic cyberpunk style. And for me, it's really the most distilled version of them as a band. It showcases their kind of themes of this dystopian life that we're living in a way that's incredibly exciting and full of energy. I think they're absolutely brilliant. I managed to see them a couple of weeks ago at a festival uh, just up the road from here. They are incredibly exciting. Their sound is amazing. They sound just as good live as they do on the record, which I think is an amazing thing to be able to achieve. Connor's vocal is outrageous. They're heavy as a band. They're tight. Honestly, I feel like they deserve more credit than they currently get, but I'm also totally okay with that because it means that not everyone loves them, which makes them cool. They will be performing at Reading and Leeds Festival later this year. I'm so excited to see them play. Last time I saw them at Reading, they weren't great. The time before that, they weren't great, but I think that was the sound issue. I think get the sound right, and that could be one of the sets of the weekend. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.